Uh, did, I mean, did I ever tell you about the time that um, I inadvertently hit on a gay Russian man by showing him my belt buckle? No. Nope. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> so Go on. We were down at Rehoboth. And by the way, anybody that's listening from outside the state of Maryland, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, is a, it's, it's, a, it's a family resort town, but it's always been very gay friendly, even before America was fairly gay friendly. It, it, has, and, it has pockets. It's not. Yes. It's not a homosexual town. It is a beach town that has pockets of. Yeah. Listen, I, it's no coincidence. It's nice. All right. That's. I mean, that's that's it's, true. Yeah. Well, yes, most, it's clean. Yeah. It's it's fashionable. Yeah. There's yeah. there's well decorated. nice little chotsky shops all over the place. Yeah. yeah. It's well decorated. Yeah. The uh, the landscaping is is well done. Right. In municipal parks and such. Yeah, yeah. So you're there. So and we, you're, we, you're showing people your crotch. Okay, go on. <laughs> so, so well, I just haven't. You know, I was working down there, um, and then my brother and his family came. So we went. We met up with them. Anyway, they took my nephew to the Levi's outlet. There's a bunch of outlet stores down there. So he got a bunch of Levi's, and he got a belt. He was looking at a belt. He liked the belt, but it didn't have a buckle. And I was like, Oh no, 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 dude! You can get a separate buckle. You can get something really cool. And at the time, I had this really I don't know. It's a little cliche, but this really awesome, like, skull and crossbones, like, belt buckle. It was kind of big. It was almost the size of, like, a cowboy belt buckle. It was very rock and roll, okay? And at the time, sure. I was Captain Rock and Roll, all right? So I was like, look, we can go find... <laughs> well, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we can go find you something like this. We're going to go down the boardwalk. We'll hit up some of the side stores. We'll see what we can find. We kept walking into these shops. Couldn't find anything. Couldn't find anything. Finally, I walked into a place... And they had, like, this infinite supply of Zippos. And I'm like, okay, this kind of place that has, like, Cloverleaf Zippos, James Bond Zippos, they're going to have what I'm looking for. So I go to the guy behind the counter. I'm like, uh, hey, you guys have any belt buckles? And he goes, hmm, belt the buckles? I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, belt yes. buckles. Buckles for your belt. Hmm, what are you talking about? I said, you know, the kind of thing that you put on your belt that holds it together? And he's like, you'll have to show me. And then I lift up my shirt and I show him my belt buckle. He's like, we don't have any belt buckles, but uh, thank you for showing me. <sighs> and then I was like, okie dokie. And I grab my 14-year-old nephew and we walk out of the store. And then I get on my phone. I'm like, belt buckles, gay pickup. And yeah, apparently if you show a gay man your belt buckle, it means you're down to meet up later and take it off. <laughs> this is right up getting the shaft this is good. belt buckles Murr's got yeah. a, a good lineage of um of of falling into all that type of stuff that's okay though